Unlocked, a jail experiment premieres tomorrow on Netflix. This show, filmed in the Pulaski County Jail, has had some county leaders angry and concerned over how it got made. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Rolly Hoyts. And I'm Faith Woodard. Shortly after the trailer dropped last month, the quorum court passed an ordinance requiring the sheriff to provide answers to a list of their questions. Now he has. New tonight, THP 11's Ashley Godwin has more on his response. Ashley, you sat through the meeting. What you learned about the controversial show? Rowley, the county quorum court met tonight ahead of tomorrow's premiere, but they did not address anything related to the documentary. I'm told by the chair they are still reviewing his responses before they can move forward. A motion was made with the second that we approve our minutes from our last meeting. The Pulaski County Quorum Court holding its regularly scheduled business Tuesday night, the day before the highly anticipated release of the Netflix series featuring the county jail. No locks and no officers. And let y'all be a community. <laughs> But no mention of the show or Sheriff Higgins' responses to their ordinance. Are there any community comments? No, sir. Thank you. This is a meeting is adjourned. Two weeks ago, the court passed an ordinance requiring the sheriff to respond to 40 questions about the show's legality since neither they nor the county judge knew about the filming. Here's some of those responses. Filming happened between January 22nd of last year to the end of April. The county received $60,000 from Lucky 8, the production company, for filming. The check went to the county finance director. There were times where the sheriff's deputies used force against inmates during filming. Most were minor injuries, but there was one cited critical incident, but it was redacted because of confidential inmate information. Sheriff Higgins said all detention policies remained in effect while filming happened, even though the Netflix trailer quotes no locks and no officers. The sheriff says there were officers stationed near the open cells and watching security cameras. The judge was not at the quorum court meeting tonight, but he did send a statement saying the sheriff's responses should help the court tighten procedures. The chair of the court said he will meet with the sheriff later this week to get additional information about the filming process.